That's like 900 degrees. That son of a gun is hot. Woo! All right, got me some parts to make my turbo blower a stage two blower for my used oil burner. Maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. But I got two one inch 90 street elbows, these two here. And then this is, this is a four inch nipple. It's one inch. I got that. And this, this pipe that my blower is hooked to, these fit in here perfectly. Like, I have to screw them on. So I got that. And we're gonna see how good this hole saw is. It's supposed to drill through metal. So hopefully I can drill through this both sides. This is an inch and three eighths. And this is almost like an inch and a quarter the outside diameter is about an inch and a quarter on this. So this is gonna give this just enough space to get through. But I'm gonna drill a hole in this, put this down through. We're gonna put one on the bottom and one on the top like that. And this is gonna go down inside my pan and help this air blow more in a circle inside. I also think I'm gonna take my blower and put it a little closer to where my burner is. I don't think that'll help that much, but and I want to take this extra piece of pipe. And I think I want to attach this to the piece inside. I'm going to cut this shorter. Yeah, cut this shorter, maybe about this tall. Then I'm going to cut some little slits down in it. And I'm going to make it so that when the flame comes out, it spins in a circle. That's my goal. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So first, let me try to drill this hole through here. This ought to be interesting. Let me mark this out. I don't know really exactly. I think I'm gonna put the oil in here so my air is gonna blow here. Down the center of that thing. See what happens. I see. Now, I'm going to start my stopwatch. You guys won't see it, but we'll just see how long it takes me to get through here. Okay, here we go. I got to stop and put oil on, but. I took one little break there to kind of hook it down because I wanted to drill the other side because I got through the one side. It says these things will drill through steel. If it drills through this, pretty good bit. Probably better if I had a drill press though. Holy mother. I want you to stop right now and tell me down in the comments how long you think this is going to take me. <laughs> Smoking. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, look at that. Where, where am I at? 1842. All the way through. Holy crap. 1842. <laughs> I stopped my stopwatch at 1845, but it was 1842. So I don't know if any of you guys guessed. I have to say these Lennox hole saw, it say they'll cut through metal. Yeah, they're not joking. They work pretty good. Multi-purpose says it cuts through steel and wood. Definitely works. Here's, this is a big chunk it just cut out. I have to say that was pretty good. 
All right, here's my little piece, and I measured every inch around here. For there's one spot that's a little closer. I'm going to cut that. And i got to figure out which way to bend them. All right, I think I have all them bent the right way. Now all i got to do is slip it down over my pipe and light my oil burner up and see what happens. Let's see how this goes down over that. I'm hoping it will stay on there tight enough. On there. And I don't know if it's going to do anything. Let's pull this out. Dump some oil in there. Just a little oil to get it started. That's enough. And a little diesel, get it started. That's enough. Push it back in. There we go. I think I got her. All right, I have my drip feed set up. If you want to see how I set up this whole thing, I do have two other videos on this. And I also have another video of how long this thing burns on one gallon of oil. Actually, you have to watch that all the way to the end because it comes out to be better when because I burn it for eight hours. All right, let's give this thing some air. Whoa, look at buckets. That root. I don't think my flame is spinning like I wanted it to, but definitely having that pipe down inside is really blowing some air in there. Because that blower is on as low as it goes. Give her a little more oil. I'd like to kind of take this outside and see how far up I can shoot that flame. Let me down. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me do that. Maybe I really don't even care what you say. I think I still want to try it. Smoke if I open that. It burns different if you open it. All right, one thing I do know is I can definitely get it burning hot. I think it's about time for me to slow it down right now, but I'm going to show you how hot I got it. All right, let's go with the rotor. The exhaust right above the rotor there is 620 degrees. Right up above that. And steel starts to melt at like 2,000 something, so I got her almost to 1,000 degrees. I think I gotta slow her down. I don't know what it is inside. And I'll let me check the top. Right now, the top of my stove is like 600 degrees. So I think I'm gonna slow her down. Kind of starts to scare me a little bit. I think if I change out that exhaust pipe there to something thicker, I could run it that hot, and maybe I could melt some aluminum cans inside. What do you think? I think if I bring a three inch pipe up, a real, a real thick pipe, and then put a 90 on it and shoot the flame like over to this way, I can put some metal cans in there and melt them. Because I think aluminum melts at a little bit over a thousand degrees. Let me, know, let me know down in the comment if you know what the temperature of aluminum cans melt. I do know steel melts at 2000 something, so. All right, well, I didn't get my flame to spin, but it's definitely burning hot. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below. I love to read all them comments, and I try to reply to all the early commenters. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see me do something else with this used oil burner. God bless, and stay warm.